everybody, it's Adam and we're coming to you from the AATS in Philadelphia. Very excited to be standing next to Dr. Lars Svensson, who's the director of the aortic program at the Cleveland Clinic. And we've got a question that comes in today from Sato, and Sato writes, I am 61 and diagnosed with bicuspid aortic valve with severe regurgitation. The doctors tell me repair is quite possible. But is it possible to repair a bicuspid aortic valve to a tricuspid aortic valve? Well, that's always an interesting question because it does come up uh, quite often. And basically the, the problem is you cannot take a bicuspid valve and make it into a three leaflet valve, a tricuspid valve, because there's no support for the conjoint leaflet. And probably 70% of the patients we see, there's a cleft in the two leaflet fused section. So it's much better and easier to make that into a two leaflet valve a true bicuspid valve. So we sew up the little gap between uh, the two edges where there's a missing piece in a sense. And then we make that symmetrical and that it works out pretty well. If you go to our Cleveland Clinic website, there's actually a little video clip of how we do that. And uh, that results in a very high success rate. And we've actually got a paper that's going to be coming out now in Journal of Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery looking at the long-term benefits of repair versus replacement in young patients. In fact, their average age was 53. And if you follow patients out over time, after seven years, there's a survival benefit to having your repair done. In other words, for a bicuspid valve or a tricuspid valve. And then if you go out to about nine, 10 years, the failure rate is also significantly lower with a repair when compared to a biological valve. And in those initial few years, the difference for a tricuspid repair versus a biological valve is only about 2.5%. And then when you get out to 10 years, the durability of a repair is about 94% for a tricuspid valve. So not only with a repair are you uh, less likely probably to have strokes and infected valves, but you also have a survival on advantage that our data shows about seven years after having a valve repair and you also have a lower risk of re-operation for failure after about 10 years. So we're very happy to see that we can do something for suitable patients who are young, particularly with aortic valve uh, repair where there's aortic valve regurgitation. So that's worked out pretty good. Well, Dr. Svensson, as always, thanks for taking the time to come and meet with us and share your information, share your research, all the clinical work that you've been doing. I know you've been doing this for over 30 years now, and I just want to thank you for everything you're doing on behalf of all the patients and the caregivers out there. Yeah, right. Keep on ticking.